How good is your memory? Stick around to find out. Welcome to Summer Science at Six with Cambridge Science Centre. My name is Katie and I am this week's presenter in the centre. Right through until the end of August, we are going to be bringing you brand new summer edition episodes featuring a brand new fun science demonstration. There's going to be a new episode released each week starting today. As always, we would love for you at home to get involved, so please do email us or tag us on social media with any questions, suggestions, or simply to share what science discoveries you have been making. Today, we are going to be playing Kim's game, or as some of you may know it, the objects game. The aim of the game is simple. I have here on the table six different objects, and I'm going to list the objects and then give you a bit of time to memorize as many as possible before we see how many you can remember. So for the first lot of items, we have six different items, and these are a wooden spoon, sellotape, a pipe cleaner, a pipette, a tennis ball, and a balloon. So now see how many you can memorize. So, how many did you get? Well done, however many you remembered. But did you find this easy or hard? Well, this type of memory test is crucial when people are training to be in jobs which require very good attention to detail, such as being in the army. And don't worry if you didn't remember very many. It does take a lot of practice. So let's try again, but this time with seven items instead. So I'm going to list them and then you can see how many you can remember. So we have a pencil, a crayon, a ping pong ball, some plasticine, a stone, a metal spoon and a paper straw. Did you get them all? It should have been a bit harder this time. So Kim's game tests your memory to try and make it better. You were able to remember what was on the table thanks to your eyes and brain working together as a team. Your eyes are sense organs. They help you to sense the world around you. They contain something called receptors. Receptors receive information from the outside world. The receptors in your eyes receive information about the way the world looks from the light bouncing off objects and things all around us and the light going into your eyes. Once the receptors in your eyes have received this information, it passes along something called a neuron before reaching the brain, where the memory is stored. Then, when you wanted to shout out or write down the objects you remembered from the game, your brain sends a message through different neurons to your mouth or hands to shout or write what you had remembered. So let's try Kim's game one more time, but this time with eight objects. And this time, try and imagine the messages traveling from your eyes to your brain, and then from your brain to your mouth or hands. So I'm gonna list these objects and see how many you can remember this time. So you have a pair of scissors, a golf ball, a shell, a rubber, a battery, a pen, a computer mouse, and a ruler. How many did you get this time? And 
Congratulations if you got all eight, but if you didn't, don't worry, because this demo is nice and easy to set up so you can get loads of practice at home and improve your memory and attention to detail. All you need is plenty of random objects and a friend or family member to help you out. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have a go at home, do let us know how you got on by tagging us on social media or emailing us at openupscience at cambridgesciencecentre.org. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye.